I'm going to show you how to install and use the LG TV Plus remote application on your Android phone or smartphone. I don't know how well you can see the screen, but open your Play Store and in search type LG space TV space plus. And you want to look for the app that has some pink icons. Go ahead and install it. Accept everything, of course. Installed the app on my phone. Now on the remote, I'm going to press the My Apps button, which is under the Channel button. I'm going to use the arrow key, the right arrow key, to go over to Devices. It's a purple icon. Press OK to select. You want to scroll down to Smartphone. So use the arrow key, select Smartphone, press OK. Arrow over, right arrow over, and select TV Control. Now, I've already done the first two steps. I've installed the app, and I have my device on the same network as the TV. So, I'm going to press Open. the bottom, press start. You're going to have to accept some things. Accept. Now, your TV should be listed. It says LG WebOS TV. Now, see on the TV? It says enter pin 789. So on my device, I'm going to enter 789. Press OK. It says pairing successful. I'm going to sign in with, you have to sign in with Google or Facebook. I'm going to sign in with, with Google. Okay. Go ahead and enter your credentials. After you log in, it should say pairing successful. The app comes up to recommended content. From here, you can swipe different categories, recommended live TV, TV shows, movies. You can use one of these gray down arrows to filter it back. Hit your device's little back arrow to get out of there. Let's look at home. Three bars up the top. You can go to your TV guide. You can go over. Go back. I don't have anything on your wish my wish list. My content takes you to your content. I don't really have anything. Oh, there's some videos. I don't have a lot of content on this device. You can go to settings. This tells you what account you have connected to your remote and the TV name and the version and so forth. Let's go back. Now look down here. Look at the bottom, the little tiny icon of the remote. Press that and you have three sections, launcher, control, and touchpad. Launcher basically is like my apps. It shows you everything. Live TV. This opens the web browser. There's your devices, your schedule, basically everything. Control. Control. It's actually in sort of four sections. You have basic control, volume up and down, channel up and down. Home isn't what you think. It's not home base. It brings up your home apps and your settings at the bottom of your screen. Mute and then input. Input brings up your various inputs. You can hit back to get out. Now look over here where it says channel. You can um, Choose one of the channels. Look over here. It goes back to the remote. I press that. I go back. Now look over here. See how it has a little navigation icon? Four arrows. This is basically navigation. Press OK to select. 
and you have stop, play, and pause, rewind. So if you're looking at a clip, you could use these, forward and record. So basically, there's like four sections to the control. Now this, this is very interesting, touchpad. This is basically like a laptop touchpad. You move the mouse, I don't know if you can see it in the background, but the mouse is moving. To select, you tap once. And again, home key is not home base. It brings up that home row of um, options, inputs, and so forth. Back goes back. Exit's a little buggy. Well, this, this time it, it exited back to TV, but it, exit doesn't always work. It all depends what you're in. So again, what I wanted to point out, see down at the bottom? Press the control, and you have launcher, control, and touchpad. Press the tiny icon of the control. So I'm going to press launcher. I want to show you something real quick. Really cool. Now I'm going to press www, World Wide Web. I want to show you. I can move my mouse and select things. I'm going to have you watch my TV screen for a minute. At the top right, you have... You have Go Back. You have, of course, your address field. You can add the site to your bookmarks right there. Hit refresh. This increases the font. You just tap, tap, and then it goes up. I think I already had it increased a bit. Tap to go down. I'm basically using my tablet. I have the, I don't know if you can see it. So I'm touching, tapping the select. Very nice. And it has a scroll bar on the side. I can use my scroll bar or you use your arrow keys for using the remote and I can scroll down. Scroll back up. All right, I hope that's helpful. Thank you.